Hello and a very warm welcome to Card for the Day and my name is Julie Sean. Today is Friday the 9th of September 2022 and tomorrow we have a full moon in Pisces. It is just before 10 a.m. in the UK. So as such, with the energy of a moon, a full moon, you'll be feeling it the day before, the day of, and the day after. So you'll be feeling the energies, the climax of this full moon. So I'm going to be doing the reading today. So it's the Moonology Oracle Cards by Yasmin Boland. Let the moon be your guide. And her other deck, Moonology Manifestating Oracle Cards attuned to the moon and manifest miracles so as i said we have a full moon in pisces the full moon surrendered to the divine is coming to a climax things are coming to a head things may be exploding so maybe a, a, a relationship that you've been dealing with and things and working with and suddenly bang it's over or maybe that relationship will rise to a new 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 level of emotion maybe in a job it's like i've been working hard working hard and now the project is completed and i've done it yay Everything is coming to a climax. It's coming to the fulfillment. This is it. And if it's not worked out how you want, have a look and reflect and see why it's not worked out. So surrender to the divine. It is what it is. You've got the supply. Even though you've been trying to control, control, I want this, I want that's the human free will wanting control. The universe has a bigger plan for you and you've got a bigger, better outcome. So let us look and see what Yasmin's interpretation of the full moon in Pisces in her moonology deck. Balance, spirituality and practicality. Balance, Pisces. Have you been so head in the clouds that you've lost touch with reality? If so, this is the time that you need to pay attention and make a concerted effort to move towards your goals. So stop thinking, start acting. The more practical steps you take, the better. It's time to find inner balance between your responsibilities and your dream. It's your dream. It's your responsibility to go for it. It's not your responsibility to blame someone else if you don't get your dream. It's your dream. Be responsible for it and act for it. Meditate on your question and the solution to your issue may now come through very clear. If you're in a tricky situation because you've been acting the martyr, this card will be a message from the cosmos to drop the act for everyone's sake. And when you're tuned with the moon, meditate every day and see what comes to you. The answers will. The answers are within you. You're a super romantic but not super realistic state. Follow your intuition. It won't let you down. But if you work with the moon and its energies and its full moon and things, why aren't you working with your own intuition? At worst, it's a time that it means it's the end of a dream. Yes, it's come to... So it's like, you know what? Let's rethink. Let's rejig this. Let's look at something else. It's not worked out. The universe doesn't want me to have it at the moment, this moment in time. Let's rejig, do another dream instead, and then maybe we can revisit this one. The person you're inquiring about is a soulmate. Are you a friend to your own soul? And avoid substance abuse. And Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. So the full moon in Pisces symbolically marks endings <clears throat> when the moon is full in pisces or whether it's a time to dive deep into your emotions practicality is at odds with the numerous piscean energy that has no borders so feel your way now psychic ability is heightened when the full moon is in pisces and soulmates now connect it's also a time to send out your dreams to the universe releasing your fears so let's look at her manifesting card. So let's use the energy to manifest our dreams. And it says full moon in Pisces, forgive. Forgive yourself. Yeah, I mucked up. Okay. I forgive myself for giving my dreams someone else. I'm now taking responsibility. Be careful that you're not coming at your current situation with your mind already made up. This is a reminder that life is an unfolding mystery and you need to go with it. Instead of trying too hard to tick every box for your dream to come true, fall into the dream a little. 
It could well be that what's blocking your current manifestation is that you haven't forgiven yourself or someone else for something that's happened in your past. To boost your manifesting powers, forgive yourself and anyone else who needs forgiving. I forgive everyone. I forgive the whole universe. <sighs> whatever was said and didn't say, whatever did, was done and didn't done. Do you know I forgive you all? Because you're on your own journey. I'm on my own journey. Let and be let live. I forgive everyone. And I'm going to move on. Manifesting balance. Strike a balance between all of your duties and what you need to do for inner peace. Oh yeah, balance. Manifesting mindset. Hanging on to anger is unhelpful and can be toxic. Move on and forgive, even if you don't forget. This is your way to brighten the future. Yeah, I know he did that to me. I know he walked out on me, but you know what? Maybe we're better off without each other. You know what? I was bullied, but you know what? I learned a great life lesson. I'm not going to forget that I was bullied because it's a life lesson, but I forgive everyone and I thank them for being a bully to me. Move on. <clears throat> a manifesting ritual for forgiveness. This might be helpful. Add lavender essential oil to your diffuser. Find a comfortable position and close your eyes. Call in Kuan Yin, a Chinese goddess to comp for compassion and mercy. Ask Kuan Yin for her assistance in clearing any upset so that you can find forgiveness and move on. <sighs> Kuan Yin. Kuan Yin, Kuan Yin, I call in your assistance in clearing away any upset so I can find forgiveness and move on. I forgive everyone who needs it in my life. It is done. I forgive everyone who needs it in my life. It is done. I forgive everyone who needs it in my life. It is done. And the best time to work your magic is when a moon is in Pisces or on a Thursday. And a full moon in Pisces takes place when the sun is in Virgo and the moon is in Pisces. Wow. Amazing messages from the lunar. I do hope you've enjoyed this reading. If you have, don't forget to press like, share and subscribe. If you want to know how you can find clarity and gain your dreams, contact me. And together, if you dream it and believe it, we can achieve it. Have an amazing day, enjoying the energies of the first day of the next three days of the full moon. Take care. Namaste.